Hartzler for five minutes. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Two miles down the road from this very chamber in 1963, Martin Luther King Jr. stood on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial and proclaimed his vision for the future. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, or by, but by the content of their character. Nearly 60 years later, radical far-left Democrats are doing everything possible to eliminate this dream through the implementation of critical race theory. Instead of equality, critical race theory frames race, not character, as the focal point of the human construct, implying that one's racial identity defines who they are and who they will ever be. To these CRT believers, your fate has already been decided by your skin color. To the average American living outside the swamp bubble, this idea is ludicrous. Everyday Americans have seen individuals of all races and backgrounds succeed. They know hard work and character are the biggest determinants of success, and the American dream is alive and well for everyone. But critical race theory wants to poison our classrooms by pushing an agenda which revolves around race, not character. They want to teach young minds that racism persists even if no individual or institution acts in a racist way or holds any racist beliefs. This toxic teaching squashes hope, stifles growth, and fuels anger and despair. What began as a theory for civil rights lawyers to debate has transformed into harmful messages that ultimately seek to further divide our nation. CRT and the 1619 Project have no place in our schools, our workplaces, or our military. Our nation's founding principles of equality and freedom are worth fighting for and protecting. When, while our nation isn't perfect, we always strive for that more perfect union. We have made progress in the last 100 years and are still the greatest nation in the world. This progress will be lost should we allow the divisive racist rhetoric of critical race theory into our classrooms. As a mother and a former teacher, I believe our education system is at its best when we inspire our young people to be all they can be and share with them the principles showcased in America's traditional motto, E Pluribus Unum, which means out of many, one. That is the unique greatness of our country, the idea of being a melting pot of people from different countries, races, and backgrounds, but we become one as Americans. Our schools should never stifle the growth of our children, belittle them based on the color of their skin, or teach them that they themselves or their families are racist regardless of their individual beliefs. The American dream is alive and well and should be fanned into flames, not crushed by critical race theories, restrictive and damaging rhetoric. That is the last thing our children need. Since critical race theory has entered the national discussions, Missourians and parents across the country have expressed strong disdain for teaching our students that this country is inherently racist and that minority groups are unable to succeed within our country's current systems and institutions. Today, I stand by those parents. I cannot condone an education system that teaches students to be ashamed of our country and to judge each other based on the color of our skin. And I believe neither would Martin Luther King Jr. Our kids deserve better. I yield back. The, gen the gentlewoman yields.